Hello, uh, welcome back to part 8 of How It's Made. Um, one of the issues we are having currently with all the slowdowns and COVID stuff is uh, materials. So, the piece we're tracking uh, in this video series, uh, we actually haven't got the material in for the guard yet. I'm still waiting on that. So, while we're waiting on that, we can keep the video series going uh, via the other two guards that we're also working uh, for two different blades. Um, that we're doing in parallel with this guy. So, uh, if you recall, these are the ones we milled out in the prior video. And now we're going to keep going with these two to show the different processes and how to shape the guards. And hopefully the material will come in uh, for the long sword and we can get that caught up. So the majority of the shaping on the guards and pommels is forging and grinding. And uh, we already did the milling for the slots. That's usually all the milling we do. Um, sometimes we'll have like spot face milling for certain features, but we're not doing that on any of these um, at the moment. So uh, we have two different pieces, 303 stainless and brass, and we're going to take you through the steps and how we shape each of these uh, pieces for their final product. So let's get to work. So the first step we're going to do in shaping our guard is basically uh, just tracing out the shapes that we want for each, or, or, uh, each of our individual guards, if I can talk right. So, uh, let's get our shapes in here. I know roughly what these guys are going to look like. So, I'm going to sketch uh, basically where my grind lines are going to be at. So, we're going to be, I don't know if you can see that in the light there, but we're going to be grinding to those lines. Let me, this one's the stainless one's shaped a little differently. So, let me get that image in there. So the brass one's going to be more, from this perspective, a more diamond view. And then the stainless one's going to be more of a dog bone. Again, I don't know if you can actually even see that in the video. But So now we have our lines on. Now we're going to take this to the grinder and grind in those shapes. Start with the uh, stainless one first. Got to get the great grind hat on. And let's get going. Again, we're going to be grinding to the lines. So we have uh, the shapes all ground in, the dog bone for the stainless version, and then the diamond uh, for the diamond shape. So now uh, we got sketches already in for the other side, so now we're going to be grinding in the other plane, and that will finish the rough shape of the guard. Oh, almost forgot my hat. <laughs> So uh, remember these started from just big chunks of steel and <laughs> now all the rough three-dimensional grind is done. Let's see if you can see that there. So this is the steel one and then the brass. Now the brass one, uh, you see it's diamond in one section and then it slightly curves in the other. Can you see that? Yeah, probably cover it in the face. What we're going to do is we're going to heat up the ends and curve that a bit more. So that'll be the next step for the brass and then for the steel. Uh, what we're going to do is take these square uh, ends that we have here, and we're going to actually, uh, um, if I can think right there, we uh, we're going to facet each of the ends. I don't know why I can't think today. We're going to facet each of the ends so the cross section will turn into an octagon on each end, and it'll still be square in the middle. Very common uh, European guard shape. Uh, but uh, what I wanted to say here is, and I think it's the nerd in me, uh, working with the two different metals is quite fun. When you're working with brass, Brass is a copper alloy, so it, it's a thermal conductor. It conducts heat very quickly. So it grinds very quickly, and you can accidentally overdo it. But as you're grinding it, it heats up quick. So you've got to cool this thing a lot, or else you're going to burn through your gloves and your hand. Uh, so it's very interesting to work with brass. Steel, on the other hand, is a very poor thermal conductor. So you can grind on this a lot and put a lot of pressure on it, and it takes a while for it to heat up. It, it does still, but nowhere near as quickly as brass does. So. That's the material science behind the two metals. I think it's kind of interesting. So um, next phase uh, will be the detail grinds and detail shapings uh, with, uh, with the torch. And that'll be video nine. So see you guys then. Thanks. <laughs> 